Join us now for Education Matters, a weekly look at the real people and real stories in education across North Carolina. Welcome to Education Matters, presented by the Public School Forum of North Carolina. I'm Keith Poston. Education research has shown the single most important school-based factor students' academic success is the classroom teacher. But research also shows that perhaps the next most important factor is the school principal. Most teachers will tell you that the kind of school climate and vision the principal sets is what makes or breaks their success with students. Today on the show, we're going to talk about principals with two great education leaders. The 2018 North Carolina Prince of the Year, Tabari Wallace from Craven County, and the head of the North Carolina Principal and Assistant Principal Association, Dr. Shirley Prince. Before we tackle our main topic, we'll open with our headlines, a quick scan of education headlines across North Carolina and the U.S. 37 students at a Nashville private school have come down with the chicken pox in the state's worst outbreak of the disease since a vaccine was introduced in 1995. The outbreak at Asheville Waldorf School has reignited controversy about the North Carolina law that allows parents to exempt their children from receiving mandatory vaccines if they cite religious beliefs as the reason. At Waldorf School, 68% of in incoming kindergartners were excused from vaccination requirements. The state average is about 1.2%. However, the number of children excused from vaccination statewide has doubled in the past five years. Lawmakers considered eliminating the exemption in 2015, but dropped the bill after some protests. Just a week after Wake County Public Schools announced a settlement with the U.S. Department of Education's Office of Civil Rights over student suspensions, Wake County School administrators said they will be proposing changes to the school board in January that would limit principals to using in-school discipline for some lower-level offenses. Some school board members say the changes are needed to remove bias against minority students who are being overly suspended and to change from the focus from punishment to encouraging students to behave positively. A new, federal, a new class action lawsuit filed in federal court in Rhode Island argues that the U.S. Constitution itself contains an implicit guarantee of a high quality education. The plaintiffs are arguing that a failure to provide a high quality public education actually limits, limits citizens' ability to adequately function in a civil society. The lead attorney said the court got it tragically wrong when it characterized access to literacy as a privilege instead of a right held by all children that they may meaningfully participate in our political system. Remember, you can visit the Public School Forum's website at ncforum.org, click on Education Matters, and read more about each of the headlines as well as the other topics we cover each week.